Hi and welcome to our deep dive video today on how to manage multiple projects without dropping the ball. I'm here to share insights and strategies to keep all of your projects moving forward smoothly and efficiently within the project within this video should I say and not project but I will you know but basically how you know understanding what multiple projects are uh, strategies for prioritizing their jobs uh, time management is one of the things I'll be covering leveraging technology and tools and delegating and team utilization and an overall summary so without delay let's crack on so understanding what is multiple project uh, so the challenge, you know, challenging and managing multiple projects is like conducting an orchestra is an example I can give. Each instrument plays a crit critical role and timing is everything. So today we'll explore how to harmonize your project portfolio. So strategies for prioritizing. First, let's talk about prioritization. It's all about impact and urgency uh, using tools like, you know, Eisenhower matrix, you can classify tasks and decide which projects demand immediate attention and which can wait. You know, you have to assess and I, that, that's just the, you know, the Eisenhower matrix is one method. However, you know, just use common sense is, you know, how you, you know, strategies of pricing, look at the project, look at when the end dates are, understand when the customer needs it, uh, which is more strategic, you know, uh, etc. And then managing that project, then understand the individual tasks that need to happen when but support all this with your Gantt charts, your risk logs, et cetera. And if you're doing a scrum, uh, you know, you, 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 you decide which um, stories you're gonna move forward, which individual activities you're gonna uh, add to your, uh, within your scrum, et cetera. So those are kind of your prioritization that needs to be done. And obviously you need to make sure that you're prioritizing with the support of your team. Next is time management techniques. So imagine you're on air traffic controller guiding planes to land. Time booking is your radar, allowing you to navigate tasks from for multiple projects without causing a pileup. Now that's a good example of where you block times it, time elements in. And I admit I'm quite bad at this sometimes because I'm trying to firefight too many things time boxing things so that you do things uh, i.e you know i'm going to spend time looking over my plan today i'm going to spend time at this time to look at my wrist log i'm going to spend time doing that and now it's not always practical uh but you've got team meetings etc but make it a habit of time blocking events so that you can make sure you get things done and you stay on top of things and reviewing that plan regular understanding the customer requirements etc is really really key next is really leveraging technology and tools now in the digital age technology is our ally project management tools give you the bird's eye view of all your projects helping you to track projects and anticipate needs before they become urgent now examples are your risk log your gan chart there's ai tools now microsoft have just you know got their co-pilot out there um, you can use you know otter ai to do your minutes etc record it transcript it um, etc obviously you need to take data protection into consideration where it sits but again there are, are multiple tools out there that can speed things up be more efficient and therefore allow you to control activities use technologies i know there's azure uh, there's aws they all have tools reporting tools for project management as well as scrum uh, etc so I, I would utilize those as best as possible to make it more efficient uh, and MS Project is a great tool, but realistically, you have to spend time learning it. And with any of these tools, really learn them and be, try to become an expert, which will really support you. Next is delegation and team utilization. And you know what? What you know? What, what about delegation? Really? Uh, well, it's like assembling a dream team for a relay race. Each member knows their part, take the baton smoothly and runs the, their leg of the race for victory. So basically delegating the job is making sure they understand what they're doing, when they need to do it and so and what the outcome is expected so they know what part needs to do and then hand that baton over to the next person now there may be multiple batons that you need to manage but that is fair enough at least you've been clear and clarified what that individual needs to do and then you can progress forward so in summary remember managing multiple projects is a skill that can be learned and you can home it you know can be honed 
and be you know you can become an expert in it uh, with the right strategies, tools, and T dan dynamics, you can become you know the best person you know and become the best project manager to manage multiple projects. However, however, one thing I would say is use the tools around you, use the people around you to help you, and make sure that you are learning from other people. You know, you will always go to different projects, and I contract a lot in many industries. And every time I go, I learn something new. I embrace something different and each time that adds a little bit to my knowledge base that I can bring to the next project but use a continuous learning journey doesn't matter how irrelevant you may think it is that that little bit of snippet information is really going to be helpful thank you for joining me on this journey today of project management excellence if you've got questions or need more tools in your arsenal leave your comments below hit subscribe for more insights until next time keep those projects moving